Oh, it's not on my. Oh my God, it wasn't on my headphones. Oh, I thought it was connected to my headphone. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Whoa. You don't knock? Me? You don't knock? I knock. Dude, this you gotta knock before you come in. Dude, you ah, oh, you scared me man. Like I was mid bust. You scared me, dude. Oh. I was just testing it out, like I got a girlfriend back at home and I just wanna see like if the memory foam's gonna be good. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I thought I was at home, like I just like popped some C B D oil and I'm kinda been tripping, so I thought I was at my house, so I was like this mattress is way different than my own, so I was just like, man. I gotta test it out for my girlfriend. We just cannot authorize it in the store, right? Okay, now I'm like mid bus, so like I gotta go home and I gotta like beat this out of me, man. There's. You can, you can. You can. Yeah, like this is getting crazy. You're a woman of your word. Now you have to get his penis erect. So what you're gonna do is just suck his dick. That's like you said you were gonna do. <laughs> Once he's nice and erect, what you're gonna do is replace the grapefruit in your mouth. You're gonna twist up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. Hello. Now ladies, remember, grapefruit is also a fat burner, so you're actually losing weight while you're sucking his dick. Now, once you're doing this technique, it feels amazing to him, but he still has no idea what you're doing. So what you wanna tell your man to do is this. Take the blindfold off. He's going to be looking at you like, what the hell are you doing? But he'll never say mm -hmm. stop. All he's going to be is thinking okay? is, I could have been fucking grateful all okay? these years. Oh, and that's fuck. the grateful technique. I thought I was connected to my headphones. I'm so sorry. Fucking. Yo, what the fuck is this? Yo, this is fucking gone wrong. Ah! Shawty fire burning on the dance floor. Ooh, oh, oh. That was probably one of the shittiest ideas I have ever had. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, this is gonna turn out great. I'm gonna be on my KC9 stat with a cinematic drone aerial shot. It's gonna look good. It's gonna be a smooth transition, a smooth bit piece, but I was wrong. I was completely wrong. So when I was thinking about this idea, originally I wanted some fireworks just to blast them in the background and be like, ha, hey, happy new year's, like have a great one guys. But I have just been living under a rock apparently because fireworks have been banned for a long time because of reasons like this there's a couple strange places online with like garages opened up and a whole bunch of fireworks but everything was closed so i went to canadian tire and got these cheap little sparklers and i'm like what can i do with this like this is so lame compared to my original idea so i just set them up to say happy new year's got some glow sticks to say 2023 and i had the drone up above to get like an aerial shot but then i like tilted it to the left and it just shot like crazy smoked a tree and i almost caused a freaking forest fire but anyways besides the point that was probably more entertaining than it was gonna be in the first place so yeah the idea just got better in this video i'm gonna be interviewing people up in this metropolis city called vancouver it was a fun experience it was awkward as fuck at first i'm like do i really want to do this setting up a tripod with my camera walking around in the city like hey you want to be interviewed like at first it didn't sound like a great idea until i just committed <laughs> Mother bloody fuck me. And it was a great idea. It's a great video. Fuck, don't go, don't go, don't go crazy. Like really in the mouth, in the mouth. I'm gonna get mad. Promise. I'll get it 
More, more than that. More, okay. Yeah. Oh. More, more, more. Let's go. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Fuck. Oh, that's some good milk. That was creamy as fuck. Oh, I'm here with Mac Miller. I'm a huge fucking fan. <laughs> you do look like Mac Miller. I'm it's not, not gonna lie. It's not a bad thing to be called. No, it's okay. the best thing. What are you guys' New Year's resolutions? What are your plans? What are your goals? It doesn't have to be crazy. But... Like a like a real thing? Uh, start tattooing people. Are you just like doing stencils in a notebook or? Like... Yeah, yeah. Art and shit, doing all that. That creative spirit on the same way, making videos and shit. <laughs> what about you? What are your goals? More pussy, more money. That's the main thing. Run longer than I did it last year. That's the main thing. Are you like a marathon sprinter or like what's going on? I just like enjoy running long distance, so I just want to run longer and watch this guy tattoo. Watch the boys get better, me get better, you get better. Trying, you know? I'll win. Okay, how many guys' numbers did you guys get tonight? We're just chilling. Okay, seriously though. Like, no, are like, you guys on the prowl tonight or what, like no, what's your goal? No, this is my sister. You're probably on TikTok? Yeah, I definitely am. I got TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all that. How many free drinks did you guys get tonight? About 10. But do you let them hit or no? Fuck no. I wouldn't either. Anyway, so like what traits do you look for in a man? I look for a man that like likes to provide. Provide? Well, I'm a provider. That's my middle name, so. Yeah. Or what about like the independent woman agenda? Like girls are like, fuck men. I don't need men. Let's just be independent. Like yeah, they're, up, men ain't shit. Like, if they can't provide for you, you gotta provide for yourself, right? Yeah, you gotta like do the alternative. You're like, these guys are pussies. Like, fuck, I gotta do it myself. On a scale of one to ten, how attractive am I? Like, be honest. You're like an eight and a half. Okay, well that's disrespectful. I'm I'm so sorry, but I don't really like white guys. Or I'm not even white. I'm AT, so I'm like the same you as you are? guys. Yeah, I am actually. What? I am, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I feel like a five okay. out of ten. Five out of ten? What the fuck? No, <laughs> uh, that's disrespectful. I gotta cut this off. That's no. Nah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you guys have a good one though. First of all, are you a millionaire? Absolutely not. What What do you think like makes a high value man in your eyes? Somebody who isn't. Self-conscious, I guess, and, and just knows what they want. What do you want? Just not to be a complete failure. Yeah, I'm the same way, honestly, but I try not to like think like that just because exactly. I don't know if I believe in manifestation, but I believe in action plus vision, right? Are these? Holy shit. Sorry, sorry. No, that's good. Can we pass? Yeah, you're good, man. Yeah, you're fine. Right. I'm also a YouTuber. Are you action? Out of these four physiques, what would you choose? What's your preference? You can also join in, too. I guess okay. no homo. Is that, can you say that in 20? Yeah, I think okay, you can. So, uh, when you got arms like this, you can say whatever you want. Depends on your audience. Depends <laughs> on your audience. I just say whatever. And if I get canceled, can't cancel someone who can't get canceled, right? <laughs> okay, so out of these four physiques, what would you choose? So we got number one. What do you think about that? Like, what would you rate that one out of ten? Uh, I would give it like a eight. I think I need to compare it to others. Yeah. We'll yeah. So, and then we got this one as well. Like. Okay, like eight. Like eight. Yeah, eight. Then we got this one right here. Okay, like nine. Wait, that's nine? Like too much for me. Really? <laughs> like nine? A nine? That's like a seven. A seven? Really? Okay. It's like too much. What about this one? Oh, right that's like the same thing. No, that's not. way. No, that's a different that's person. Way more rib. That is, yeah. That's like two rib. That's like, like for five or six. It's like the same to me. So out of all of them, like, what would you choose? Like, what's your preferred? Like the third one. Third one? First one? Third. First one? Oh, it's Osla. What? It's Osla. O Z L A. Yeah. Okay, so out of all of them, you picked the first one. You said that, right? Third. 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 Okay, the first one's clearly me, so I'm nitpicking. What uh, I said first. <laughs> <laughs> he buy it. He's scamming us. And I'll see you in court. Fucking okay. okay, on a scale of one to ten, how attractive am I? A nine. <laughs> okay, no, I see some deceitful eyes. I'm not gonna lie. Like she looked. You looked. No, I'm, like, I'm not like that. Okay, Trust okay, me. you're a 10. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, my confidence is going up. Uh, what traits do you look for in a guy? Uh, personality, work ethic. Yeah, like uh, what kind of personality? Kind, thoughtful, caring, loves okay. to cuddle. True, I guess, yeah. Okay, that's kind of corny, but uh, can, that's can you... That's kind of corny, that's real for me. Can you find true love in a club? Uh, you can find true love anywhere. That's cap. I feel like that's cap, yeah. I found that's my boyfriend. Cap. Uh, go go dancing at a strip club. Yeah. I guess yeah, but like once you start like start the relationship, are you like okay, cut it off? Like you can't go to this club or you can't go no, out or you can't like prowl. No. Because if a guy's going to the club, guaranteed he's pulling. Like, uh, I'm going to the club, guaranteed. Fun. Yeah, but he's not like any guy. I don't know. You don't know this guy though. You what is he like a Sigma guy. male or like a Giga Chat or like that? What does that mean? Like those new terms that are coming out. What's the what like a real it? like a real man? I guess like that's what it means. Like a real man. What does that mean? Like a real man. It's just like a term that they're throwing. He's, he's like alpha male, I'd okay. say. Like. So what do you think I am? Do you think I'm like a beta cuck or like? I don't even know what any of that means. A beta cuck? What is? A what? You you actually believe you can't find true love like? 
No, I don't even care about girls, honestly. Really? I think they're a distraction, so like a certain degree. I think like guys are a distraction. We distract each other, that's why you gotta find like the right person to like do stuff with and lift you up and like you you both have goals and like you're, you're goal oriented and yeah. like you help each other, like accomplish yeah. each other goals and stuff like that. Like if a chick is aligned with my goals and she's not like dragging me back, then exactly. that makes sense, but. If she's like supportive and stuff like that, but like that's why it's like open communication is so important because you like express your needs and like your wants from the beginning and then you go from there to see like if you guys both match up. Yeah, sure. Or if she has like a big ass or big tits or anything like that. I feel like this guy's the wrong guy to be interested with people. So like, <laughs> you're asking me about love or getting like, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled. I'm gonna get canceled real fucking fast. <laughs> you guys doing great. Keep it up. Keep it up. Uh, I was like, yeah, I don't want to be in a monogamous relationship. I know I'm poly for sure. And then he like wanted to do that with me. So we did that for four years. And then I found myself in like what I wanted. So I broke up with him and then I ran from like that by accident. Oh shit, yeah, that's crazy. I just fell asleep like for the, the whole right thing. Person. But. We're having sex, we're having a good time. But I need something different. No, like no, no, we're true. having a good time, but I want to try something different. I want to try a different but, pussy. But what I if, try yeah, yeah, but what if you can have this pussy and also have... I love open relationships go. because oh that means yeah, I can like fuck bitches without her getting mad. <laughs> you see you see a That's bad thing on the street, you take it home, you see a girl the next night, no thing about it because she's open relationship. That is true, that it's kind of like an out. Yeah, but wait, 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 wait. But the, yeah. She also gets an open relationship. Or, huh? She also or, gets an open relationship. So but she yeah, yeah, okay, dude, so, so how do you feel I, about that? I like, don't give a she fuck. Also, she's getting good dick, do you think I'll get my or, girl? Or, 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 what, what, what do you think about open relationships? Oh, fuck no, dude. If a guy's like banging my girl, yeah, just the whole it. thought of it kind of fucks me, you know? I would never do it. I definitely would. But I would fuck other girls. You guys have like subscribers? I got like two, man. That's about it. Dude, come on. Do you want to have a breakfast with your girlfriend and at the end of the night someone is fucking her? No, in the morning she got I'm not like, paying right? for a breakfast? Are you mad? Bro, she can buy your own guys. fucking <laughs> waffles. Yo, I don't give a fuck. Food. Guys, come on. You need to check on... You need to, uh, guys, you need to check his YouTube channel. Come on, let's... let's Definitely don't, yeah. Let's support him, guys. Come on, get your phones out. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Fuck off, nigga. You know where you at, bro? Fuck off, bro. Be nice. It's just a lens. It's cheap as fuck, but this content's gold. Come on. You're good. You're good. That sippy guy. Come on. Go back. Go back, pussy. Oh, here's fuck, fuck. This is what a camera good though. Oh yeah, it's just the fuck it. Lens popped up. Time for some pre-workout, baby. Oh yeah, that OG Shine NCS mix. Some pre-workout. It's 10.46 p.m. Goddamn, I'm crazy, boy. Doesn't, whew, doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter what time it is. You gotta get your lift in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I swear I'm stuck in 2013. What is going on right now? But yeah, it's time to go to this gym. This is my second time here. This is my new gym. I keep switching them up like every now and again. Every month or every two months, I need a new scenery. I need a new setting. I need a new place, a new energy. So I'm, you know, stimulated once again and I'm like re-energized because if you keep going to the same gym consistently, after a while, for some odd reason, it just gets boring. And not only that, it's also the people as well. But yeah, when it comes to my local gym, like the atmosphere has completely fizzled out. Like there's there's so many motherfuckers in there that just talk and that's all they do and it is so unmotivating like you go to that place you put in the work you do what you got to do you whip out the camera and they give you weird looks so I'm like fuck that place like it's small the energy's dead I'm moving so I went to another good life fitness because I feel like when you go to a new gym there's like some new energy or whatever it may be like I like filming I like doing videos I like being weird I like doing my own thing when I go to a new gym nobody knows me so I could just do my thing and then I could do that for like two weeks and then after a while they catch on and they're like, what the fuck? Like, you st you're still doing this? But yeah, in like a year from now, I'm probably gonna be driving like 24 hours just to go to the gym. But yeah, let's get it, baby. <laughs> Oh,